notification there let me see how on point youtube is this morning with their notification sending oh, i got it already so you guys must have gotten yours too so what are you waiting for come on in come on in you guys see my oh like i'm mean, gonna like it right away this is the order of things you hop on Hit the like button, come in the chat, say good morning, and then we just go from there, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for the thumbs up. I see them. I see them. Come on now. Come on now. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Breakfast Live in Yardy Belly Kitchen with Yardy Belly TV starring... Yardy belly! Put your hands together for me. Yeah, you have to say it again. You have to say it again. Guys, good morning, good morning. While Yardy Belly gets his act together. Wow. <laughs> and guys, he was waiting on me, you know? He was waiting on me because I was watching my fear and all of these um girl stuff. Mm-hmm wash my hair and flat twist it and whatnot and him still not ready you believe that well good morning good morning guys this morning he's making something a little bit different something a little bit well it's the ingredients that was josh guys we have to call that our son <laughs> oh i told him to call me i had told him to call oh you called him okay okay yeah. Good Just morning. Man, like. Winsome Johnson. Good morning to you. Blessing sunshine. You brighten my life. Morning to you. Big up yourself. Big up yourself. Good All morning. right. So like I was saying, the ingredient that yeah, we're using have. is familiar to everybody. Mm -hmm. I believe but, in um, any community, whether you're Jamaican or you're American or you are from um, Europe. This is a universal um, ingredient that most people are familiar with. How we prepare it in Jamaica is not how a lot of people prepare it. And so this morning we are going to be adapting um, a, a, another technique, showing you another way you can eat it. And we're going to be incorporating a whole lot of nutritious things into it and all these things. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, Put your hands together for no. Welcome to Breakfast Live on Yardy Belly TV. Yes, featuring Yardy Belly himself. All right, Wilson so Johnson. Good morning. Yeah. So, all right, guys. So let we go ahead and sing our welcome song because you already know what it is. We are live, live, live. Yardy belly is live. Live in the kitchen. We're live with the cooking. Live, live, live. Yardy belly is live. Yardy belly TV live. Cooking, cooking, cooking. Yardy belly is cooking. We are cooking in the morning and cooking in the evening. Cooking, cooking, cooking. Yeah, man. Yardy belly is cooking. Yardy belly TV. Cooking, cooking, cooking. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I was doing African dance, guys. So just you can imagine. No, she was whining. She was whining. No, I was doing African dance. I saw her. Joshua says sardine is mid. You are my I, I fear sardine sucks. <laughs> I fear sardine sucks. <laughs> Guys, Web Venture is our son. He is hating on yeah. Good morning to you, prayer kid. Bless up yourself. But today is going to be really quick. Hopefully, really simple. The ingredients are really straightforward. We have here 
sardines of many varieties. <laughs> <laughs> a joke. We have sardine in water. Of course, you know sardine come in either olive oil or you know. Well, originally, uh, the, the original soya bean um, oil, original oh, yeah. Brunswick sardine coming up. Soya bean oil, right? Which is not necessarily the healthier choice. So mm -hmm. if you can buy the one in olive oil or okay, water. That we used to. That we used to Jamaica. That we used to. So in water is the same thing as brine. Yeah, no, water is water. Brine out salt and water. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So this is the one in water, and this here is a foreign one. Yeah, Product of Africa. Africa. Morocco, yeah. Product of Morocco. So you already know. And that is in a spicy, a spicy oil. Yeah. So they are different varieties. So you can experiment when you go to the store. We don't have to always go for the Brunswick regular one. We can just, you know, try to incorporate different ones. And guys, another thing is a lot of the a lot of the overseas are the international brands. Mm -hmm. the, the the product is better than the, the, the US True. Or Canadian. Yeah. True. When you look at the sugar and salt contents of a lot of the the foreign stuff, it is sometimes. Trust me, you have to be careful of what you consume mm -hmm. because some of them is over the top with salt and other um, harmful ingredients. Good morning, Rosalie Gallimore. Good morning. And guys, so we have some onions, which you guys know is very awesome in sardines. We have some tomato lemon is very is a very good combination with sardines helps to give it a nice tangy flavor and cut some of the rawness right mm -hmm. and we have guys the scallion look at it count the inches look how long it is <laughs> no 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 it's still going it's still going it's still going it's still... and, and it, guess no. where it come from guys this is from our back no sir this scallion is from our backyard. I must say I've never seen a scallion this long before. In my life. In my entire <laughs> four scores and odd on earth. Yeah, so we have that. And he has some minced garlic. Yeah, I'm just adding. Normally, you know, really have to add garlic. In but, extra you know, olive oil. I'm mm -hmm. just adding it because it's in the fridge and thing and thing. And guys, you have heard us say that we have been on a low carb kick. So usually, you already know what it is. Nothing trumps some tough crackers. Mm -hmm. But we're going with lettuce wraps. Now, the, the thing about the, let me give you some history behind the sardine choker. Choker. Because okay. the name choker is not is not a common name to Jamaicans. Right. All right. What's we origin? just we in a Jamaica we just say sardine, cook up sardine or pick up or sa sardine and, and crackers. Raw sardine. And crackers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know we don't really have no name for it, but um the name is from Trinidad. Oh. Okay. You understand? And Trinidad have a way of coining their words and their phrases to mean something that we don't know it lost with with the rest of Caribbean. And is choker a, a process or an ingredient? I think it is the process. It's not the ingredient because there's really nothing different that they do mm -hmm. um, aside from what they call chunky, which is um, putting hot oil over it when it's done. Mm -hmm. Like them just warm up some oil and pour the oil over it when it's done. Right, right, right. You know, but again, you don't necessarily have to do that because not every household do that. In in Trinidad, many different people do it many different ways. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's where the cho the, the choker word came in. And if you are listening from Trinidad, I know so. Um, sister she Sherry is from Trinidad. She might tell me where the whole choker come from. You know, mm -hmm. if you're watching and you're from Trinidad, give us a little background in the comment. <laughs> Mm -hmm. About the origin of choker. Right. Yes. So, I'm going to just put it, everything in the bowl. Mm -hmm. That's so, so, I'm going to cut up the, the onion. And it's a lot of onions, but it's, it's really good. And it's sweet onion, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to cut up the scallions a little bit. Because I'm not going to use all of the scallions. Right, right, right. Guys, go ahead and just hit the like button now. Because I'm going to like it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, if you don't like it, when I like we, <laughs> some liking must go on for the day. It's I don't like the food. Are you speaking in English or are you speaking in, in dialect? <laughs> I am speaking in. I am speaking in. Jinglish. Jamaican <laughs> English. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, 
So, is there anybody on here who who does not like sardine? If there's anybody watching that doesn't like sardine, move from America and stuff like sardine. Yeah, and then no more sardine is still considered seafood. Mm-hmm. Some people from the plane touchdown in the U.S. Um, no, maybe about four or five minutes, if okay. that long. Okay. All right, guys. So he's cutting up our backyard skeleton. You're so proud mm, of the skeleton. I'm very proud. Everything, guys. It's a good feeling when you grow your own thing. Right now, may I have some bell pepper that I see growing very nicely in the backyard, in the garden. I am eyeing some callaloo that <laughs> I see growing. Oh, we've been eating callaloo from that. Yeah. And I have a ton. Let me show you. Now I'm going for the... I'm going for the um, tomatoes. And guys, when you, you when you're doing this, it, it it's a it choker is normally a, a snack food or you know if you want to add it as a side dish and stuff, you know. And so it's usually not like you go out of your way to prepare the the the, indiv the the individual ingredients, you know. It's just where you have room, mm -hmm. you just utilize with the with the 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 the, the, the classic. Um, sardine. Like cucumber from the pudding. Yeah, cucumber could have gone in there. Any little thing wet like that could have add to it. Mm -hmm. You know. But tell them what our secret ingredients are is today. When some Johnson said I don't eat no canned fish. Wow. Well, you know you can buy. They sell fresh sardines, right? Right, 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 you right. You can right. buy fresh sardines and make your and own. And make your own. Yeah, mm -hmm. you could do it. You could do it. It's 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 very very easy to do. Mm -hmm. You know, and if you buy a slice of um any any slice any fish that is um is um flaky, you know, any flaky fish can be used um to do this. Mm -hmm. You just boil it or steam it, and then you you cook it up just the same or pick it up just the same. Right, right, right. Good morning, Gwen by Leaky. I want to like them for their nutritional value. <laughs> you want to like them. <laughs> Oh, good. And sardine is super duper good. As a matter of fact, um, sardine can help in the prevention of osteoporosis. The, the, the bones in sardine um, is, is actually good for ladies. You know, especially if you're not doing too much of the, the, the um, uh, dairy. If you're not doing excessive amount of dairy, you can eat the sardine bones. A lot of people say, oh, you have to clean up the sardine or whatever. But the truth is, the sardine bones can be eaten. Right. All right, let me add my tomatoes. It's an excellent source of calcium, minerals such as niacin, iron, potassium, magnesium, zinc, and phosphorus. It's a good source of protein. So if you don't want to eat like red meat and stuff to get your protein, you can eat sardines. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's. If you're a pescatarian, it's also good, you know. Right, if you're a pescatarian, it's good for real, for real, for real. And I'm adding a little bit of my garlic, guys. Just a little bit. It's not absolutely um, necessary, but mm -hmm. I'm add it. I'm wondering if I should do the chunky um, oil. You think I should? Oh, chunky a little oil, like what um, them do. I don't know. And pour over it. I'm going to add a radish. And the radish, when you, when you, the radish is very, very good, guys. It's spicy. And add that nice like a kick. Oh, I'm gonna need pepper. Oh yes, pepper is a must. All right, so I'm gonna add a, um the radish to it, and you just want well dice up your radish real fine. Good morning for those just joining. Welcome to you. Welcome, welcome. So if you sorry, sorry, babe, go ahead. No, it's all. Yeah. No, I was saying if you just join us and you see the word sardine choker, it's just um pick up cook up um where you call it see raw sardine where you cook up with crackers or pick up with crackers me no remember T tell me no baby i don't know me say it's not with crackers me no but it's, I'm, it's, it's, that's what we know it as that's the point i'm making we know it as as sardine and crackers oh it's okay similar to when we eat the raw sardines with the different seasonings in it and when we eat it with crackers traditionally in jamaica but in this case we're adding a whole lot more than the basics right we just uh nice it up for our own with our own list of ingredients so if you've never done it 
with with radish before the radish is a nice addition and it have a nice spicy kick mm -hmm. you know and radish have benefits too you know so that's one of the things that we've been doing guys we've been counting the benefits even try to google some of the benefits of the different things because trust me some something out there where we now eat and we are lose benefits mm -hmm. you know so I don't want to hear about radishes. Yes, they want to hear. Because I feel like sometimes we only stick to the familiar things that we we use daily. Mm -hmm. And we just overlook some things. But radishes are rich in antioxidants and minerals like calcium and potassium again. And together, these nutrients help to lower blood pressure and reduce your risk of heart disease. Wow. And it's also a good source of nitrates to in improve the blood flow. Wow. So radish, if you can incorporate radish in your, you know, day to day. Even if you're making a salad. Sometimes you're making a regular salad with lettuce and, and um, mm -hmm. tomatoes and whatnot. Just put up a radish in there. Mm -hmm. And you're surprised to know how you introduce new, new nutrients. <laughs> All right. So this is the scotch bunny pepper. You have cut ones in Eh? You have cut ones? Yeah, in the other. You sure? Should I find a cut one, guys? Because me and boy, we just, me just cut anything when we see another you know, something, you know. This one is still active. All right, so she have a cut one right here. And guys, we keep our scotch bonnet in the freezer because you don't find it that often around town. And so when we do, we put it in the freezer. And it also... um slow down the amount of capsaicin that is in it so it make it less spicy mm -hmm. and that's only because of the wife so that's why i may use a little bit of scotch i want bonnet. a lot go where, where, where you want a lot my tolerance level for pepper has vastly increased yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> did i say good morning to sim simma sim simma good morning got the keys to the bima oh, oh my. my the girl them sugar <laughs> all right see there that's a little bit don't you Oh my gosh, why it's so big though? Alright, help me. Guys, this look like a little bit of pepper toner. I fear it doesn't, as Joshua would say. Mm -hmm. I fear it <laughs> I fear it doesn't look like a little bit of pepper. That's look a lot. <laughs> Alright. So where are you guys checking in from? Remember so on Thursday mornings we do a Check in, in yes. a shout out, a check in from your city, your state, where wherever you're logging in from. Let's tap it so we can shout out your city. Mm -hmm. Um, get one of the ramekins, maybe it. Oh, no, oh, okay. oh. that make you um really, you really, you really just ask one inch up on the live. Mm? I forgot. For all the folks that 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 are listening and expect us to know these equipment. <laughs> You just say one name saw again. In someone, get a ramekin. One name saw again. Pan the big, big life. Money, good morning, good morning, Gwen. Good morning to you. Uh, Naco Doches, East Texas. Blessings. Texas yeah? in the house. Nacho Doxos in the house. Hey. Baby, 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 come, come on. on. Baby, 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 come on. Come Somebody's logging in from Brooklyn. Brooklyn in the house, New York in the house, hey. Baby, baby, baby come, come on, baby, baby, come on, baby, baby, come on. Now you can walk by every night. Boy, <laughs> <laughs> guys, this morning, we are on 10. My face cannot show because it is too low. Portent Lucy in the house. Florida is in the house. Oh, hey. Baby, baby, come on. Baby, baby, come on. Baby, baby, come on. <laughs> this, guys, is a ramekin. It looks like a small Pyrex dish to me. A small Pyrex dish. Do you want me to prepare this? Um, Yes, please, and thanks. All right, let me see if I can grab myself something because I'm going to put the sardines in right now. All right, guys. So Winsome, so you both need to go in the studio. Thank you, Winsome. <laughs> that's, that's because I am, um, you know, I'm just so talented. Which knife you use for the pepper? That one. The big one? No, the little one. I'm just so talented, Winsome. It's, it's natural. 
Some people say I can't sing, but I rebook them. I rebook them. I rebook them. All right. So <laughs> guys, let me. So so the the thing that I'm gonna do is, guys, I'm going to do that chunky that that um. Let me just show you real quick. Um, that that they do in Trinidad. Chunky is 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 a simple process. What do you, what you do? Sorry. What you do is you heat the oil. You just you just heat up some oil, and I'm using an olive oil here, and I'm just putting some oil to to heat. And once the oil gets hot, you pretty much just pour it over everything. All right. Now I have my watercress here that I'm gonna add. I don't know if the wifey had told you guys that I'm adding watercress. I need to tell them about watercress. She's gonna tell you a little bit more about watercress. But this is this is something that I I have I've been having since I was a child. Really? Yeah, my I'm mama used to give that. us watercress to eat. Your mother extra. No, mommy not extra. Don't say that. My yes. mother is a good mother. I don't say never that. Seen that in my, house. my mother love me. She's good. She kind and drink her. Tell the truth, you guys. Anybody growing up so raw watercress? And, and we should eat it. No. You know? Watercress is always something when we grow up on. You know? We can have a little weird taste, but I grew up on watercress. And so I bought some the other day and I just never used it. And now I'm saying, use your watercress. So what I'm going to do is chunky the, the whole of this mm -hmm. and then add the watercress. You get the gist? All right, so now I'm going to just open my sardines. Let me just um, turn my camera around again. All right, guys. Sorry for the movement of the camera. It's a small handheld device that yeah, we're using. Guys, we haven't gotten our production team together yet with our multi-camera setup. <laughs> we're switch from different angles. angles. <laughs> yeah, but it's, yeah, coming. it's coming. But we soon start angle them. <laughs> 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 so you bird you pretty much you know this is a regular sardine and this one is packed in water so you're pretty much just gonna open it and pour the water off in the sink or right, let me get a container to just pour the water. pour this water off now i i we use we were used to sardines packed in soya bean oil mm -hmm. that's what we're used to we grew up on that Almost every Caribbean person knows a sardine coming as soya bean oil. But if you can limit the amount of soya bean oil that you actually consume, it is great. It is better. All right? So let me put this over this. We're not going to use that. Again. This, however, is from Morocco. All right? This is a Moroccan sardine, and it comes in a spicy oil. So I'm going to use this one because I want to use this oil. And I think it's olive oil. I'm almost certain it's olive oil. Um, you know? But again, we can limit the amount that we use. You want to pour it? No. Or are you going to pour off some? Yeah, I'm going to pour off some of the oil. Okay. Just pour off some of this oil right here. And I can add that in increments. Mm -hmm. And guys, when you go in the store, you have expensive sardines that come from overseas. Try them. You know, don't just stick to the basic, mm -hmm. you know. Try the, the expensive one then. All right. So at this point, some people would go ahead and clean up the sardines, take off the skin, take out the bones and everything, the middle. Yeah, we don't do that. We don't do that because, like we said before, the the bones is, you know, rich with, in calcium and stuff. Right. -o. So we want everything. And then I'm going to just quickly break everything apart. And the thing, the, the thing about it is I don't want to mince it up. We just want to incorporate it more and break it up into, you know, bite it, bite, what you call it? Pieces, manageable pieces. Mm -hmm. But you don't want to damage your sardine like you want to mince it up. Maybe this one, one more sardine. Do you, I don't know, know. do you know what would have been good in this to me? To me. Mm -hmm. As a balance of flavor mm -hmm. and in, introducing sweet. I would add some diced apple. You can that you can do that. I mean, it's it all it's, it's up limited. To you. Yeah, you know, you want to go for the apple, go on for the apple. But me no mm -hmm. want an apple. Me no want. You know, and so guys, look at that. Look at this. Look at that. How this look, babes? Look good. Don't try zoom it, baby. Leave no, it alone. No, 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 no. Come no, and know you. Anytime you try zoom it. It unzoom and then you say, I can't fix it. Oh my god, I can't fix it. I'm gonna add a little bit of 
21 season salute. It's not absolutely necessary, oh, but, oh. you know. It has 21 different seasons? Yeah, except Paris. salt. Mm -hmm. All right. And that is how you do it right there. Your, your choker is pretty much ready right now. Um, you can put in your lemon juice. And you just squeeze your lemon and get the juice. Make it nice and... He's using his hand as a strainer, you guys. Yeah, because through my hands is so... That's how the chef eat. So delicate, you know. Mm -hmm. Brooklyn in the house. New York in the house. Hey, baby, 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 come on. Baby, baby, come on. Baby, baby, come on. We have Brooklyn represented this morning. Soda? No. Oh, where's my phone? I want to show you guys about water first. Water All right, first. so, babes, watch yourself, babe. I'm coming over there. Ooh, so, love. guys, I have some oil here. I'm going to use all of it. Olive oil. This is olive oil. Let you just pour a little. So, that is the process that's called chunky? Yeah. Oh, okay. Pour a little of the hot, hot oil, oil and just mix it in. Mm -hmm. And it just changes and reduces some of the, the heavy, you know, stuff and start and make it nice and thing and thing. Yeah, see there? Mm -hmm. I love my mom eats the one from France and England. Okay. Awesome. Because the American one and the Canadian one, them, them not tell you, say them not put bad things in it. You know. mm -hmm. Them just put it. You see me? And then now you just get your watercress, like so, like so. Mm -hmm. And you just, where were my knife? Or my scissors? Let me grab the knife. Big one. And you just add in your watercress. So the watercress, guys, is a good antioxidant, which helps to lower the risk of chronic diseases. And it's also, it contains um, compounds that may prevent certain types of cancer. It is good for heart health. And it helps to lower cholesterol. Mm-hmm rich in vitamin K, which helps to prevent osteoporosis. It helps to um, boost the immune function because it's high in vitamin C. And it helps to aid in weight loss because of its, its nutrient dense, its de nutrient density. And it has dietary nitrates that help to enhance athletic performance. So if you're an athlete... True, them know that I'm a good you? performer. You understand? <laughs> they knew, they know that I'm a good performer. I perform very well. You understand? In all my athletic... Athletics. Compositions. Oh, and if you have eye problems, you guys, you can incorporate a lot of watercress because it is rich in carotenoids and vitamin C, which may protect eye health. See there? See there? It, and I and I need eye health to protect. Mm -hmm. Jonathan. Yep, yep, yep. Good to go. This All right, let me grab a. This look good. A platter now to present. Show them the the one day detox right quick when we present this thing here. Yeah? All right, guys. So in the meantime, while we get re ready to show you how we are presenting it, Sister J Caribbean Cuisine and Lifestyle. Good morning. And Maryland remember to go subscribe. Oh, sorry. Maryland in the house. Um, Baltimore. Baltimore in the house. Hey, big up yourself, Sister J. Um, Caribbean cuisine. Go ahead and subscribe to her channel. Mm -hmm. On YouTube. So, what we want to show you guys is the one day detox. Let me show it to you. The Green Valley one day detox. Yes, this is a one day cleanse, you guys. This is a all natural, all herb um, formula that you actually drink one time 
one go the entire bottle it's just an eight ounce bottle it might look like a huge bottle it's just eight ounces when you pour it in a glass it's a small glass and if you're having any kind of constipation problems if you're having any kind of bloating if you are having any um inconsistencies going to the bathroom if you are low in energy it, this um product is great and yeah once you take the bottle in the morning you just make sure it's on a day when you are home because if you make the mistake and leave your yard yeah it's all on you <laughs> you're in trouble <laughs> it's all on you you have to take it when you're home because you'll be making multiple trips to the bathroom and by the next day you will be as light as feather and as right, and as, as, rain. right as rain yeah one day detox all natural some of the ingredients let me tell you are moringa we all know moringa you have dandelion you have king of the forest sowasap leaf guinea hen weed jack in the bush inflammation weed and um prickly pear which is also known as um tuna, tuna. tuna yeah you have aloe vera you have garlic you have star of anise you have cinnamon and vervain so as you can hear it's all natural stuff if you would like to order you can text us 305-204-1270 and my lip is dry one of it help dry lip <laughs> <laughs> you know so many for do a cleanse many for do a cleanse like yesterday yeah they recommend that you do this once a month if your um digestive system is in pristine health and you have no issues you can do every other month but you know if you need a little oomph then they recommend doing it once per month so again 305-204-1270 is a number to text to order your bottle okay okay do you ready, guys? <laughs> Do you ready? Is, will you stop? <laughs> That's an inside joke. They're supposed to say, are you ready? And they said, do you ready? But so. You don't explain jokes, okay? You just do the joke and say inside joke and leave it right there. Okay. Sorry. All right. Yes, child. This is it for the low carb breakfast low carb no carb low carb no carb how that look guys i have to make sure you have enough lettuce because if you dare eat on a tree you are going to be hungry i don't know where we're taking i don't know what we think so we're funny why mm -mm. Mm -hmm. yeah here you go guys yeah guys this is it our sardine choker with our lettuce romaine lettuce and a few dollops of garlic aioli on top mm -hmm. and you want to put a little bit of white name there or no a little bit of paprika or no Tell me that it ain't so. Tell me that it ain't so. There you go. Tell me that it ain't so. There you go. Hey. And I know, guys, that you're going to love this one. I know, I know, I know. Yeah. This one is a nice snack. It is a low-carb lunch. As a matter of fact, if you have, if you have, um, you know, like a flatbread, naan bread, anything like that, you can add to it. If you want, you can just take out your bounce out your crackers, same way, and start work it. Guys, you can't lose. You cannot lose with this one. You understand? Yeah. This is so quick and easy. <laughs> <laughs> so quick and easy, guys. Trust me. You understand? So quick and easy. Make you want to try it. And again, you just, you just take it with your with your with your lettuce like so like such yeah mm. 
Mm-hmm. Pull the camera. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Guys. Craven dance, 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 too craven. Mm. Talk the things then. Mm. Talk the things then. Mm. No. <laughs> what? She's like putting you guys on hold. <laughs> Yo, let me tell you something, guys. And I have to try this in a phone in the neck of the woods. May I tell you that straight? You understand? This is worth trying. As I said, it's nice low carb snack. Yeah, when you, che when you check your blood sugar, it's not supposed to raise when you have this one. You understand? This is worth trying. It's a great breakfast item. If you have fried dumpling, if you have crackers, if you have naan bread, um, lettuce, if you want to steam some cabbage. And you know, yeah, say, ca you know, say cabbage could I use? I make like a cabbage roll. Oh, okay. Like if you steam the cabbage, let me see if I can do it real quick. I put one, one piece of oh. cabbage in the microwave and see if it will wilt. Or is it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and this can it. be done with, with, with like a cabbage leaf. <coughs> a leaf yeah. of cabbage. Yeah. One caramela. It's worth trying. It's worth trying. I tell you the truth. It is worth trying. <laughs> Mm -mm 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 -mm. The 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 pepper cake is perfect. Sita, you just cut out this part because this part is hard, mm -hmm. right? Cut okay, that. so it's lightly wilted, so yeah, still just, crunchy. Just, yeah, and then you just take some, mm -hmm. put like so, like so. Mm -hmm. When you take a little of your garlic aioli, mm -hmm. like so, like so. Just a dollop. Just a dollop of daisy. <laughs> and you just go like oh, so. Oh, you're making a roll. What do you call it? A wrap. Yeah. Look at that, guys. Mm. I can't do it no better, but you know it got ready. Mm -hmm. And then? Wait. <laughs> you want a bite? Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Tell me. Mm. Tell me. Mm. Good, back. Mm. Yummy, for real. Mm. Oh, sure, Jamie, yummy. Mm. It tastes awesome. I wouldn't lie to you guys. It is yummy. So yeah, this is our offering for this morning. Thirty-eight minutes. Sometimes we 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 lives gonna be short and abbreviated. Not everybody yeah. wants to sit on and watch an hour. So this is a great idea for those who love sardines. Mm -hmm. This is a you know a great great way to make it. Great 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 great. great. And if you want to, you know, do a low carb thing substitute the breads and whatever else for these lettuce um, leaves or the, the cabbage or whatever. All right. So, guys. It's been a pleasure mm -hmm. hanging out with you. Hanging? Hanging, yeah, yeah. Like I'm a new talk. I threw the, the, the sardine choker make good. I mm -hmm. have to change all my talk now because my turn star, you understand? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's been a pleasure hanging out with you. <laughs> and we'll definitely be doing more videos coming up on the week and maybe. 
and if you missed our recent videos go and check them out yeah we have videos every single week multiple videos so go and check them out and get caught up yeah. on the Yardy belly tv all right so we will talk to you again uh, remember to live and laugh cook and consume <laughs> remember me tell you What about your video, baby? Hmm? What about your video?